Hi everybody and welcome to Morzak EV and today I thought I'd do a video on one of our most popular chargers, the Omi wall charger. Hello and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. Don't forget to check us out on social media for our charge point installation services and subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of future videos. So the Omi wall charge is manufactured by the company Omi. It comes in one variant which is 7 kilowatts and tethered. They don't do an untethered version and they don't do a 22 kilowatt version. So it's mainly aimed at the domestic market and apart from being a small neat compact charger it has a few other tricks up its sleeve we'll get onto in a minute. So the charger itself is quite small when you look at its profile compared to the size of my head which is fairly normal size head it's pretty uh, pretty compact especially when you compare it to a lot of the other domestic chargers on the market. It's all ever proved it's got a built-in sim card which works on the strongest network available which means you don't need to worry about Wi-Fi connectivity as long as you've got some kind of mobile signal in your area. It does need an earth rod uh, for the installation or a, a pen fault detection device supplied by ourselves. Um, we can supply those for an earth rod isn't possible. Um, we do have a video on earth rods why they're needed explains uh, the different options so you can check that out it's in the card and it comes with this five meter cable um, it's available in a type 1 or type 2 version so depending on your vehicle you can get one to suit either so why would you choose the omi over one of the other charge points available well omi started out as a software company and then built a charger around their software so the real clever stuff going on in the omi is actually in their software and the application this app is available to download for uh, the Apple platforms and Android platforms, so our iOS and all Android devices. So unlike all the other chargers, you're able to tell the Omi when you want your car charged by and how much you want it charged by. It then goes away, looks at your car, looks at the battery status, looks at your electricity tariff and works out the cheapest way to charge your vehicle to the percentage you require by the time you require. It can also look at the greenest way to charge your vehicle in that time. So the Omi app isn't linked to all vehicles yet but most of the major manufacturers it will link to the car app that you have on your phone. So no other charger that I know of at the moment can pull the state of charge of a vehicle except for the Omi. So the Omi goes into the into the car app, pulls the state of charge, so it actually works out, well, I want to charge it to 80%, but it's currently sitting at 50, so I need to add 30% of that battery's capacity overnight. It's the only charger that will do that. So the tech integrates with smart tariffs, such as the Octopus Agile tariff. This really comes into its own because when the electricity supply exceeds the demand, you get plunge pricing, that means you could even get paid to put the electric in your car. And the Omi app knows this in advance and schedules your car to be charged as much as possible to make use of this uh, plunge pricing. Octopus Agile is a good example of what we call a time of use tariff. So what this does is look at how much available electricity there is in supply and how much demand there is. Now, electricity is sold to your electricity suppliers are wholesale prices which vary every half an hour based on supply and demand. What the electricity suppliers do is look at how much people are using throughout the day and average that price out if you've got a flat rate tariff for example. Uh, then there are some that supply have cheap night rate tariffs an economy 7 type tariff for example or something like the Octopus Go. But a time of use tariff is close, much closer to the wholesale price of electric. So the, the price changes every half an hour based on the supply and demand. So typically this means uh, winter 
weekday nights and evenings are the most expensive time when it's dark people are getting home having showers cooking lights are on watching tv boiling the kettle using loads of electric that means there's a spike in electricity prices and it's expensive on the opposite side there's those breezy summer evenings uh, when you've got a little bit of sun you've got a lot of wind power being generated um, it's maybe nine o'clock after nine o'clock and there's quite an excess of supply compared to how much is being taken in that case the prices plummet and last year there was a ton of plunge pricing days as they called it where they were paying one or two pence per kilowatt hour which means people were charging their vehicles and getting paid around 80 pence or a pound to do so so this is a big difference between electric vehicles and a petrol vehicle because I don't know anybody who's ever get, got paid to take petrol off the supplier's hands. Now time of use tariffs are really good because this is how the grid is going to cope in the future. Now at some point I'll probably do a separate video on this but it explains how people will be disincentivized from charging their EVs and pulling too much power at the times when it's in most in demand and pushing that to the times when it, the supply is in excess. This helps balance the grid and will enable a much greener future of electricity and transport. So in summary, the army connects your electricity tariff and your electricity supplier to your charger and to your vehicle. So they all work in synchronization. It will also get data of when the greenest time is to charge. Um, so it's you know it knows from the electricity suppliers when it's using the most renewable technologies and therefore the, has the least carbon emissions and greenhouse emissions so you can actually be friendlier to the environment by saying i want to charge at those times when the renewable technology is available instead of when uh you know you're using coal power gas power or nuclear power so I hope you like the army. I hope you found the video useful. If you're interested in our charge point services, check us out on social media or contact us through our website or email. If you like the video, give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications of future charge point videos as well as all our other videos on related technologies. And in the meantime, thanks very much for watching.